and welcome to another edition of The One Team We Agree On. I'm Jillian. I'm Kyle. How are you doing today? Uh, I'm doing okay. How about yourself? My knee hurts. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. On the positive side, I can walk almost completely normal. My broken foot has made good progress. Yeah, unfortunately, I fell today. and Yeah, it's not good. Um, I have bandages on my knee and but we're going to get through this podcast. Yep. So, um, we are going to recap the Union 2 victory in the Eastern Conference semifinal over Crown Legacy. Yeah. And also, of course, we are going to talk about Holden Trent. Do you want to get into that right now? Yeah, I think that's important to start with. Yeah. Um, And it's unfortunate that we need to start with something that's yeah. more of a sad topic but i think this is the most important thing to address so of course on uh late last week we learned of holden being in the icu and then the sad news on saturday just as i was arriving to the game for the union two game and well, you called me yeah so because you were at the swim meet and i arrived at Subaru Park, and I saw the news that Holden had sadly passed. Um, definitely not the news we wanted to hear. Um, and I just want to put out there that you know I know it's human nature to be curious and to speculate, but we're not going to do that because the I fact of the matter is, a young man, twenty five year old sadly passed and he was a son he was a fiance he was a brother he was a teammate and from everything that i heard you know he was a really good person i met him at meet the team night yeah you did um but you know i didn't have too many interactions but you can tell by the way that his teammates oh they loved him like, yeah they loved him and the tributes came pouring in so um i just wanted to say that you know our deepest condolences to the trent family and oh to everyone God. that cares for him his teammates the organization just it's heartbreaking no words you know Here's what I'm going to say. A man died. Yeah. Pray for his family. Pray for his fiance. Pray for his parents, siblings. Look, we got a donation. You know, the Holden Trent Goal 13 Foundation, an organization dedicated to honor. Holden Trent's legacy by supporting other athletes or to Holden Trent's soccer scholarship at High Point. You know, High Point has some things. We're going to put those links in the description. Yeah. Marlon brought it up. An organ donor. Being yes. an organ donor yes. in Holden Trent's legacy. There were some questions that I heard about crying for Holden Trent's death. And I thought Marlon handed that well. I was sitting right in front of him at the press conference after the game, and I could see it in his eyes. Just yeah, he no, it's a coach. Just oh my gosh, and and it was all I could do to really not get emotional too. But I thought it was wonderfully said by Marlon. Uh, it was a very emotional night, of course, but um, I I'm so happy that the team that union two could go out and win that for Holden. And also it is, um, you know, Holden's a hero. Like Marlon said, he's a hero being an organ donor and yeah. giving the gift of life to others. And he has legacy is going to live on. At the end of the day, we saw the outpour MLS teams mm -hmm. uh, supporting Holden. Yeah. Supporting Philadelphia union. Yeah. We At saw the end of the day, we saw Julian Carranza. Oh, that was a beautiful, beautiful moment. Julian Carranza scoring a goal for Feyenoord and lifting up his jersey. And you see the shirt that says R.I.P. Holden. 
or you, if you've had a loved one or a teammate or anyone like, in that. So, I mean, yeah. and so I just want to say deepest condolences to everyone affected. I, I saw yeah. it on the faces of the people in the organization on Saturday. Yeah. Um, you know, the people that you, you all might not know, but people behind the scenes that knew him well. And, um, oh, yeah. you know, so again, just heart goes out to the Tread family and everyone yeah. involved. And um, if you feel led to do so, you know, definitely encourage you to make donations. We'll put the links in the description. Mm -hmm. But again, keep your hearts with the Trent family right now. Please. Yeah. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah. Um, so Woo! where are we going? Yeah. <laughs> Get rolling here on the rest of our topics. Just a reminder. Um where you can find us. We are on social media at we're on Twitter at T O T W A G. Um, my personal account, silly double underscore Jilly Kyle's at coach Almany. Um, we have our Facebook and Instagram accounts and YouTube at the one team we agree on. Um, and then we have our website, the one team we agree on.com. Um, I also have my TikTok, uh, Jillian underscore Almany. I just posted a couple of new videos for union two on there. So definitely check those out. Um, and, um, of course, no, um, episode would be complete without saying what we're wearing today. So I, I wasn't, if they actually sold union two stuff, I would have worn it. Okay. Um, on a much happier note, I mean, union two, they're going to the Eastern conference final. They're going to the Eastern conference final. They're playing at Subaru park this Saturday. Yeah. Um, 6 p.m. Everybody better show up and make that place loud. It was pretty loud with even the amount of fans that there were there. But these guys deserve the support. They're putting it all out there. I mean, what a gutsy performance this past Saturday. Um, and, you know, in the quarterfinals as well. So I think they deserve the support. But... Um, I digress though. They they have the union shop open, but they don't sell Union 2 stuff, which is a shame. Yeah. I would definitely buy a jersey, but I decided to wear the um tie-dye love shirt that I did this year at Sons of Ben. Um just I kind of went with that because just you know, want to just remember we love all this and you know, sending love to all those affected, honestly. It's kind of a love theme there. Um, so, Kyle, what are you wearing today? I can't do it. All right, all right. Well, uh, Kyle, Kyle, you're because it's National Cat Day, yeah. just for funsies, and it's almost Halloween. It is a black cat shirt. Um, our actual black cat we have is kind of wandering around here, and hopefully, won't take down the equipment like he did the one. Um, you know, let's talk about the, the Union Two versus Crown Legacy. So. Martlin had said they learned of Holden's passing not long before they, yeah. you know, got there and everything. And so, of course, the team, you know, they're going to be emotional. And Holden did make one appearance for Union 2 this year in goal. And he made some appearances last year. He was really battling um, injuries throughout you yeah. know, his time with the Union. So it was really unfortunate with that. But, um, you know, they said best. You know, they wanted to honor Holden, um, go out and get that win. And so they're just playing with a little extra um, motivation. And, yeah, it was emotional. And um, so, first of all, they came out and um, they did have a moment of silence for Holden. And they had a um, tribute for that. And they had his jersey. They took a picture with Holden's jersey. Yeah. And we'll have clips of that. Um as well but just to recap um on that actually do you want to show the picture for that yeah yeah so kyle unfortunately was not able to be at the game yeah. um but he was coaching at our summit and so i went to it and there's the view from warm-ups um and then i got some of the bridge brigade hey, there's Vince. yeah there's Vince yeah. Again and and uh andrew Bort, you know a bunch of those guys there and of course bridge brigade's been amazing for the support <laughs> All right, so there's them coming on the field, of course. Um, and and then here is the tribute to Holden Trent. 
um up on the scoreboard yeah and so they honored him they did a moment of silence as well and uh so that was very very um touching and then show the next thing yeah and right. oh and yeah there's an, there should be right. another one um there's not I, there should be one the bridge brigade also put a hold in sign near the yeah. goal um and it had like a 13 in it so i thought i put a picture of that on there as well i might be on the next one there's no beer yeah and martin they did some they did some cool introduction um okay. this, oh there it is okay so there's the hold in sign um that they hung up so with the with the uh, 13 within it there so for his number so i thought that was really good and um so props to all the guys there in bridge brigade for doing that um and the neil pierre and marlon leblanc things there on the scoreboard when they were introducing the players they actually had like nice graphics um introducing them which was cool we right. saw that last week yeah so i just i took a couple pictures of those and then um all right yeah well, so i i added a couple clips in there so um that's mcconaughey's goal yeah well we'll get that. yeah so anyway um so this is only this is only the second time they played crown legacy this season that's one yep. reason why marlin chose them because like they Let's played be Columbus he Crew. chose them because they were the number they were the lowest seed out of the yeah. choices and he said you know it was because also to bring in a different team because they've faced columbus crew like three times and when i i talked to him on Friday, that's I was like, is that the real reason? He's like, yeah. I mean, honestly, I'm going to challenge these guys. Yeah, and that's what you want as a coach. You yeah, want to challenge this guy. Yeah, because Crown Legacy just knocked off the number one seed. And yeah, they, it, they had just to beat be the some, man. You got to beat the man. So, it, and it was a challenge because number one, I, I thought it was funny when I saw the, um, I saw, I went down the stands for like a little bit at the beginning when they were warming up just to say hi to some people and. uh the bridge brigade were heckling the goalie from uh crown legacy who's like six seven okay yeah. dunzi i think is his name yeah um yeah and great game. He, yeah he did he made some really good saves yeah. i mean credit to him um so he definitely kept in that because we'll put it this way union two had chances they could not finish um unfortunately. i mean that's been storied like the first team like the first team and so <laughs> yeah they uh I will say though, also, uh, for as well much as the Union two couldn't finish their chance, but the defense backed them up though. Their defense was strong. I mean, yeah. Let Let's talk about that defense. I mean, I mean again, you they had like there. three shots Utah, on goal. Todd, Jose, Jimmy were there. Yeah, Pat was there. I mean, like you guys saw the game i mean i'm just yeah. listening to it but what i saw listened to and now i picked it up at 75th minute you know up one nothing but even the chances that yeah. i saw from andrew rick neil even mckinney now let's talk about mckinney okay. he yeah. got caught out position a couple times but we yeah. saw that and as marlon said he had a bit of it because i asked marlon about mckinney's performance in the presser mm -hmm. and he said and I don't know if we're going to play that clip, if you have that clip there. But yeah, um, but yeah, I mean, he had a shaky first, like, 20 minutes or so, but he, he settled in. And, of course, in, I believe, the 29th minute, Nakanya scored the only goal in regulation for Union 2. So let's go ahead and play that. It was off a Sorry, set piece, off a, yeah, off a corner kick um, via CJ Olney. So here it is. Here we go. So I want to note that in the previous game, there's the oh yeah, while well, we're on it too, that's a it's like a little pano of the crowd. So I want to note that the previous game, Macanya was on the bench. He'd been the usual starter, one of the usual starting center backs. He and Neil Pierre have been a really good pair in the back. Can I say it was a bear pair? What? Neil Pierre and Carlos Rojas. Oh, Rojas did a great job. There. And he came in. And then when he came in, he was fantastic. Yeah. I think Carlos Rojas is a really good player, a really good Venezuelan that I hope the union give a fair shake to. Yeah. I mean, Makanya, look, I love his story. I do too. It's it's very telling when Jim goes to Nate Harrell at center back instead of yeah. Makanya. I mean, look, 
at the end of the day, we can say what we want to about McKay. He's a nice kid. I like, you know, and and, I want him to be successful. But if he's not ready. Then he's not ready as a U-22. You can't give that up. Mm -hmm. You just really can't. And also, I mean, I could say something about Brandon Craig, but some people. Well, it's very telling if he's not even getting playing time in USL. I mean, uh, I mean, I mean, there are some people who are big time on the Brandon Craig, you know. Um, Let's talk about Gavin Wetzel. He did a great job. I know Marlon noted that. Yeah. So you talked to Gavin at a practice. Yeah, we had that article. Yes, we did. We did. And and look, it was after Gavin Wetzel scoring a goal. Yeah, against Crew 2. Crew 2, that they ended up losing 3-2. But, mm-hmm. you know, talking about that game, talking about his development, people were like, Gavin Wessel, who the heck is he? And I'm like, you know, this guy when he comes on, he's been really solid. And now he's getting starting minutes. He's overtaken Jameer Bradesio. Mm-hmm. He was signed on, you know, on lo- loan. Um, you know, I mean... But yeah, Marlon's seeing some good things from Gavin and went with him in this big role. So and, and Gavin's continued to deliver. Yes. And I think Gavin Wetzel has a future. Maybe again, not with the first team, but maybe a future in professional soccer. Yeah. I think he's really good. I think he sees good vision. Mm-hmm. However, I think maybe athletically he's not the most athletic, but he's a good player. Yes. He's a good player. He's a good soccer player. And at the end of the day, you know, the guy's got good awareness and vision. I yeah. I like him. Yeah. And and he reminds me of a neat hero light. He has that hunger in him. He well, plays with that hunger. I was gonna say too. You um, know who else plays with hunger? Frankie. Yeah. Yeah. And let me let me talk about this. Okay. So former guest show, Frankie. I mean, listen. Um, big fan of you, Frankie. Um, like how you play with that grit. Like, I like that. Um, and I want to say that I know Todd Lewis brought up too on his pod that this is like, it could be another like Nate Harrell situation where he just comes out of nowhere, starts like playing really, really well and really starts making uh, his way up wh- through. Wait, wait a wait. minute. Hold on. What? Y'all drink at the Frankie Kool Aid because we've been on this bus we've for. Known. Okay. We've been on this we've, bus. Listen, and uh, yeah. we're not even calling no, anybody. No, we're but, having fun. Yeah, we are. Yeah. The, <laughs> the great thing is that we we're know seeing, these guys are great and that they're exciting and that they're fun to watch and that they've got promise. And we, we but we also know how big of a jump MLS and yes, Pro is to MLS. Yes, it is. But then you see people like. Neil Pierre, you see people like get you see these stories and just see Frankie just he has that grind and that grit that Philadelphia people like could you Frankie's imagine, so Philly we know he's northeast Philly he's could you imagine yeah. they sell Kai and I love Kai he's we love Kai one of we love Kai best yes. guys ever probably one of my top two current union players besides oh. Andre Blake oh absolutely however Let's say Kai moves on. Mm-hmm. Frankie's now, let's say 29, 30. Let's say Frankie's now 23, entering his prime. Now being the starting left back, maybe Nate's still around. Mm-hmm. Could you imagine this too? Oh, yeah. Could you imagine Neil Pierre there? I mean, I hope the union can hang on to Neil Pierre because I mean, he's yeah, that good. I, too. Mean, I don't think that's I think he's, I mean, I've always said like he's like one of the center backs of the future. And, and maybe Brendan Craig is back. You just never know. Because here's the thing. <laughs> Look, think about it. No, Nate Harriel, he all of a sudden really came on, you know, like the way his story's gone is really cool. But, but here, here's yeah. the thing. Yeah. These are stories, folks. So you're like, oh my gosh, these guys are not MLX MLS players but they gotta start somewhere yeah but at the end of the day if it to see these guys maybe make it Mm -hmm. it's exciting it is it's exciting but at the end of the day we're gonna be very at the end of the day this is not a union podcast this is union two podcast you need to do more with our first team 
We'll get to that in a later episode. However, let's be, for this episode, appreciative of these kids. Yeah, I mean, okay. So, first of all, and I've said this before, I'm a developmental swim coach. I don't coach, like, the stars on our team. I coach the developing swimmers, the ones that maybe someday will be stars, and some of them have gone on to be real good. But, like, the thing is... My goal is not them winning everything. My goal is for them to develop and then have a nice, you know, successful career in, you know, in their swimming career. And, and so sometimes, you know, they end up getting pretty good, even when they're still in my group and then they're too good for me eventually. And I have to move them on. But it's like, this is why I really appreciate what Marlon does. And he says, you know, his number one job is developing them, but they're also really winning. They're really good this year. And uh, so I appreciate where he's coming from. And I can't say enough about Marlon. Like Marlon, I think is a phenomenal coach and the union are lucky to have him. I, I'm just appreciative. Yeah. So anyway. Yeah. So let's get back. To anyway. That. But yeah. So We're I thought all tangent. we are. <laughs> we are. But um. so anyway, Frankie, fantastic job. I noticed he was hurting. Like he he went down at the one point and. But Marcus you got up and did. yeah, Marcus, Marcus. Let me, well, I'll say this, Marcus and Eddie. I love that pairing. Um, and Marcus is just so physical, and he follows up his shots like he's crashing at the goal. You know, he'll take a shot, but he follows through, and you know, he the goalkeeper is going to spill the ball or something. He's going to be there yeah. on it. So I love that. You know, Eddie's got the good speed. Um, mm-hmm. and. Um, shout out to Eddie. I like the headband, that hundred percent Jesus headband. Yep. Thought that was cool. Um, and so I thought that was pairing was good, but also um, there's, there's so much to like on the team. I think CJ only has been phenomenal. He's been the big hero lately, of course, but I mean, we could go top to bottom with this team, but here, here's the thing. Like if people aren't <laughs> drinking the U2 Kool-Aid yet, um, like they're fun. Like they're what Philly likes this, as Marlon said, this blue collar underdog mentality, you know, that post that you asked that question. And by the way, thank you. Marlon had such a great response to my question about what's your message to the fans. I mean, we should play it. I think I uploaded that clip there, but anyway, Marlon, um, it's on our, it's on my social and it's on my new, Oh, and I have a new article out so you can see it on there too. And by the way, you're welcome okay it was a team effort yes i know no 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 actually for anybody saying i've heard some people say oh do you feed her comments no i do not feed her questions at all like it's a team effort so (laughs) the truth of the matter is and this is the truth for anybody's wondering we come up with the questions together together and we decide prior to press conferences and then during the press conference, we communicate. Mm-hmm. And that's how it goes. Yes, it is. And Jillian has come up with many questions by herself and has actually fed me questions from the other end. That's true. <laughs> this is true. This is true. So, um, but anyway. No, I just bring that up because I always joke about that. I get people saying, oh, are you feeding her questions? Listen, you know what? The disrespect. I am a, exact. I, I am like one of the few females in this, you know, you know. Jillian, you're fine. I know. No, yeah. you know, you know what? It's like my, I had this big, I was like in college and I had a big swim meet against my old team and I beat them. Okay. I was coaching against my old team and I beat them and Someone actually asked, oh, did your dad help you with the lineup? I'm like, no. Because my dad was a swim coach. I'm like, no, I did that myself. Okay. And yeah. She's give me very some independent, folks. That's the funny <laughs> thing. I mean, we work together again. But anyway, I don't want to get too off on a no, tangent. No, 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 but no. anyway. But anyway. So, my gosh, we, we, we've yeah. had some fun episode tonight. Yeah, so I think we needed a little bit of a, you know, pick me up on that. I'm watching our cats, like, about to go into anyway, WrestleMania over there. Anyway, let's talk about that. So, so anyway. So Crown uh, Legacy scores. Yeah, in the we, 88th minute, like, yeah, it just kind of t- knocked the wind out. Maybe it was all size, maybe it wasn't. Union, to the res- response, um, resiliency, like Marlon's talking about. Try to get a goal. Maybe it's a goal. Maybe it's not by Neil. Anyway. Anyway. 
we regulation get BKs. ends. Well, yeah, we get through extra time first of all because at this at um the playoffs they actually do extra time. But then we get to PKs, kicks. and I'm like, I'm totally not triggered right now. And <laughs> I think to Todd in the press. I'm, like, I'm totally not triggered right now. And I said, you the cat. Oh, like the PTSD one. You yeah, the cat. Like, yeah. yep. Because and uh, we were there in LA. <laughs> um, so can't wait to be in another final soon, hopefully. For that. Oh gosh. Stuff. Anyway, <laughs> let's not go there. Anyway, oh, oh let's go no. Let's not go there. But no. anyway, so <laughs> it eventually gets to PKs. All right. Can I can I say something about PKs? So you. I hate PKs down. when I'm. You go in down it. and you text me. You're like, it's over. And I did not text that it's over. You text me like no, I was like, hold on to your butts. You know the um GIF, yeah. the GIF with and, um and I said Samuel Jackson pray, from Jurassic and Park. I sent the praying baby when Rick made the save. Yeah, and I made the, the pray praying baby. So and then okay, let's... and then they got they got the goal. Okay, Sal. Goes... Okay, you're jumping ahead here, Kyle. No, I'm just. Well, okay, L- let's back up a second. Okay, okay, okay. So. Um, Crown Legacy makes their first one. Yeah. Then Frankie comes up. There's a big boat going by, by the way, which I thought was kind of cool. Buries it. Buries it. Um, Crown Legacy, they make another one. And then Nick Periano missed, which was surprising because he's been so good from the spot. No, and I saw him on Friday. Yeah. Nail two. And I'm like, dang, this guy, he doesn't have power, but he hits the corners. I just don't think it went off his feet, yeah. right? But beyond that. Yeah. Um, And then... I believe it was the third one was it um rick saved yeah yeah so it was one one i'm like and yeah. that's where i said the yeah praying baby and of course it went nuts and then you know i think makanya was next he made his he's made his um and then um they uh, like, probably see, made their next one and then sal. sal made his he buried it yeah he did um real nice shot by sal and then um big moment crown legacy come up and rick saves it yeah, and then let's talk about CJ's because yes. you posted this on Twitter. Yeah. Um, somebody's like, do it for Holden right when he hits it, and he freaking buries that thing like a bullet in the back. Yes, he does. I mean, that was and, and just I'm just saying, he just buries that thing yes. like bam. And yeah. I'm like, oh, I heard that. Like, do it for holding it's like bam. I'm like, Yeah, All I right. looked up at this, I just looked up and I was just like and then he saw yes. Rick like show. Yes, he had uh, an- I mean, initials on his wrist there. Yeah. And I, I think at the end of the day, I think the message through the rest of the playoffs, win or lose, is going to be due for holding. Yeah. You now have a rally cry. Yeah. Now, let's get to Saturday. So Saturday is Eastern Conference Finals. Yeah. If you haven't been there to a YouTube game yet, is anything Edwards said? Going to Western Conference Finals. Okay, wait a minute. Let's let's <laughs> that didn't go well for Tim Bros. But bring your yeah. ass, bring your ass to this game. If you have not your swear jar, I don't care. Okay, like, I know, I know. Bring I know. your ass. If you're like, well, I don't want to support the union okay. anymore. I'm done. No, these kids, having been there, Jillian has been there. I've been there on Friday. These kids work hard. They're up at nine a.m. training. Bring your ass because look, you you want to see Kevin Sullivan? Here, here's Kevin Sullivan. Yeah. You can see Kevin. You can see CJ. You can see David Vasquez. Yeah, they've all been phenomenal. Look, we're selling this game right now because this is something that I want to see Hawkey there. I want to see Union Hawk there. I don't know who he is. Yeah, but you don't know who he actually is. But <laughs> if Hawkey's up there on the bridge, like bring Hawkey up. Like Listen, there is playoff soccer in Chester still. This exactly, is... and that's the name yeah. of this episode. There's playoff soccer in Chester. This is the last game is... in Chester for the season at this point. Either way, because whoever wins this game is going to go play either in at North Texas or at St. Louis. It's going to be an away game for the final. And, and we're going to be there. We're, yeah, we... We are going to be there. If they, if they win, if you if we'll you do. We'll be there. But at the end of the day, look. I know it's been a long season for the Union. It has. I know people are off the ship, off the coast. Maybe they're supporting DC United, Red Bulls again. I don't know. 
look, at the end of the day, like these kids are fun. Yeah. They, they deserve have the hope. support. And they're they're easy to support. And the Bridge Brigade is amazing. Yeah. So show up on some. Yeah. I mean, look, if you go on my article, I have a link for the tickets on there. You can yeah. get links all all over the place. Bridge Brigade, look at their social media accounts. They have it linked. You can get tickets for ten dollars. Okay. And, and, and the truth is, Columbus Crew Two, they've been three consecutive MLS Next Pro finals. Yeah. They're not going to be easy. And no, Easter yeah. Conference finals. Now, they've made the last two cup finals. They won the first one, lost to Austin two last year. And now they're back again. And the coach of the last two is now the Montreal head coach. So at the end of the day, they're going to be a tough out. They can score goals. They put up a banger against Inter Miami. And then they beat. Who, uh, they beat uh, Chicago Fire 2 on the road 3-2. Yeah. I mean, Chicago Fire drew 2-2, two, two, and then they came back. Literally, I was typing an article, mm -hmm. um, and bam, they scored right away. They're going to be a tough out now. For what it's worth, it was like you could hear a pin drop in Chicago. It was. Like, and also, yeah. so you got to be loud. It needs to be a hostile environment. It there. really does. And, and look. Union went three to one first time in June. Yeah. And the Union on a hot streak, they will go out to historic Crew Two Stadium, lose three to two on that. Gavin Wessels ties up two two. Mm -hmm. Kanye gives up that PK late. Yeah. And they lose. And then they drew one one at the end towards the end of the year. The end of August. And well, they drew, but then they won on PKs. And yeah. memorably at that game. Kevin Sullivan had a just a galaza. Oh my goodness! Which I don't know how that wasn't even nominated for goal of the year. I don't know what either. Are you doing? But look, at the end of the day, this is gonna be a tough match. Yeah. And if I'm gonna say it right now, they get through this match. I mean, who knows? I believe in them. We follow them all. For them, because all I'm season looking, long. I've been following North Texas. They're good. There is a uh, free trade coming. And I'm not going to say I don't believe because I do believe in this team. I would love nothing more than to go on the road and redeem mm. that year. I mean, not, not it's gonna, not the same exactly, but still. In my heart, it is. It, still, yeah. In my heart, it is. But, but, but anyway. long story short, get out to Subaru Park. Like I said, yeah. ticket, tickets are cheap. Parking is free. It You can park in like G lot, H lot. I think they've had open too. They've actually, um, with these playoff games, because more of a crowd, they've had the team store open. They've had right. more of the concessions open. And it's general admission. So you can sit wherever on that one side. I suggest 104 where Bridge Brigade sits because that's the best place, um, you know, if you want to be a part of the action. If they move on, who do you want? <sighs> well, if they move on, if they went to North Texas, just putting this out there, that stadium is right by Jerry World, okay? And the Eagles play at Dallas the same weekend. You know who won at that stadium in 2010? <laughs> yeah, we're not talking about that. Anyway. <laughs> I um go there. Um, I mean, St. Louis would be cool, too, because I've never been there, no, so... No, no. Um, no, we're we're getting ahead of ourselves. Yeah, Let's we look. need to take care of business. We do. You, you need to maybe we'll take care of business. Back Sorry. with another episode, or maybe back with another. That was, that was fun. And we're gonna have content all through the off season, either way. Either way, we we've got some things well, in the works. So we're gonna ride this out until the union too. Um, we got players, we got family, we got. Other fans. people in the media, fans, yeah, we got all fans. kinds of we got things. things. So after this ride's over, we're going to do our season recap mm -hmm. with Jim. We're going to do Marlin's season recap. And then we're going to do uh, th season three of What If. Oh, yes. We'll be asking for your What Ifs event. Hey, yes, we will. And also, Jillian's going to do her holiday merchandise. Mm. You, we've been... She's in this for two years now. And you have yet to do. And speaking of merch, I have something cool coming up. <laughs> you do. I do. And we also have something else cool coming up. I have something else cool that you don't know about. 
Oh, you don't also know about shop that's coming up. Oh. Oh, we might have a merch store coming up. Ooh. You stay tuned for a merch store. Trust me, it's going to be really inexpensive because we're not trying to make money. Um, yeah. We just do this for love. But we're going to be doing fans, too. So, anyway, a lot to discuss. Look, if you're coming out, let us know. Yeah, we're not going to be rushing there from swim meets this time either. So, we'll be I there. I will be rushing from a major diabetes expo where we're going to have over 1,000 people now. Oh, and also, I well, we're both raising money for American Heart Association. Yes. Through the union's team for that for the uh the heart walk that's happening on saturday um you messed up your knees so, and you have the, your di diabetes thing so i know you can't walk i'm hoping to be able to my foot is <laughs> still and healing just... and my car is giving me issues so it it's up there but i'm raising money and um give. if you if if you feel led to give to that uh, i will post that on twitter and it, it is a cause very important to me. Um, I did lose my grandfather at age 57. Um, I was only like not even four years old and I have like one memory of him and but, I lost him to a heart attack. So it's always been a really important cause for me. And so that's why I am raising money to support that. And also you know, I, I wanted to um, help out the union with doing that cause. Exactly. But first and foremost, give money to Holden Trent. And, yes. And the family uh, being for their scholarship. Yeah. Thing. No, yeah. no. Like we're not asking for money. If you, it's between us and Holden Trent's we give the whole. Oh, absolutely. 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 But anyway, that's it for the one team we grew. Yeah. Make sure to like and subscribe. Follow us on our social media accounts. Leave us comments. We love hearing from you. It's been so nice uh, meeting some people in person. Yeah. Okay. Um, at the games and everything. So um, definitely don't be shy. Come say hi. And that rhymes. And uh, I didn't try that. Um, so, yeah, we look forward to hopefully seeing a lot of people out at Subaru Park on Sun or Saturday at the Eastern Conference Final. And until next time, I'm Kyle. I'm Jillian. And we'll see you at the game.